French Impressionist painter Claude Monet's water lilies are featured in more than 250 of his oil paintings. These works depict the flower garden at his home in Giverny and were the main focus of his artistic production during the last 30 years of his life. I'm going to show you how to create a classroom Giverny garden by arranging watercolor paper petals into overlapping layers and applying liquid watercolors using a variety of techniques. As in nature, no two flowers will bloom alike. First, observe Monet's water lilies, discovering the use of color and texture. For this project, I'm using Blick Student Watercolor Paper, which comes in 22 by 30 inch sheets. Cut a portion of the paper into eight sections to make seven and a half by 11 inch pieces. Each student will need five pieces of this size to make the flower. Plan on using one full sheet per flower. The remaining portion of the paper can be cut into six sections to make 10 inch by 11 inch pieces. And these will be used to make the lily pad at the end. Choose one or two base paint colors and apply Blick liquid watercolors using a large brush to cover broad areas. And experiment with your watercolor application by spraying, dripping, mopping watercolors onto the paper. This is really a time to explore different techniques, such as a wet on dry. And that is where wet paint is applied to dry paper. It allows for some brushy marks. And then there's wet on wet. Start with water, wet out the paper, then apply a liquid watercolor. Notice how that makes a very different mark from here. Next, we can experiment with a dry brush on wet paper. Start by wetting out your paper again, then using a towel or cloth, try to get as much moisture out of your brush as possible. Pick up only a little bit of color, blot it first, then make your mark. You can also try a graduated wash, where you start out with a very dark, concentrated color and let the color lighten. To do that, mix your color with water and then further dilute that color with more water so that you can blend from fully concentrated down the line. And finally, you can use brush o crystals and water to add a little bit of sparkle and color to your piece. The lily petals can be any size, but as a guide, a template has been provided with the full lesson plan PDF at dickblick.com. You're going to want to cut eight small, 11 medium, and 11 large petals from your watercolor paper. And I have some dry paper here, it's stacking about four sheets together to make four large petals. So after you've cut your petals, stack a few together, cut a one or two inch notch at the very bottom. To shape your petal, take the two tabs you've created with that notch, you're going to fold one over the other to make a curved petal shape. The tabs can be held with a paper clip until they're dry. Now, you'll want to glue all of your petals at once and have them dry before you assemble your flower. To assemble your flower, start with your four inch circular base. I have some dry petals here. You want to attach the petals to the base. Start with the largest petals by placing a small amount of glue on the back side where you just made that tab. Position each large petal on the outside of the circle. And you'll work your way around the flower, attaching all of your petals this way. Now, you do want to leave about a one to two inch diameter in the center of your ring of petals after you get the large ones glued. You'll move on to the medium size and then the small. But leave a little opening. Have one here with all of its petals. So you want a little spot here and that is to add your stamen. And to make your stamen, you're going to start with the same size paper, fold it in half lengthwise and cut at regular intervals to fringe it cut down to about three-fourths of an inch there, so they're all still attached. 
roll the paper tightly like a cinnamon roll and glue your ends together. Just a little bit of glue at the end. Put a bead of glue at the bottom and place it in the center. Now you can curl your petals gently around your finger, around the end of a pencil or a paintbrush to give it a more natural look. Create your lily pad by drawing a basic lily pad shape onto a piece of watercolor paper and then cut it out. And your water lilies can be glued to the lily pad for final presentation. To see this lesson as a PDF with step-by-step -step instruction, a full list of materials, as well as national standards, visit dickblick.com. You'll find hundreds more free lessons and videos there as well.